Hello everyone, welcome to BT Studios, and we are back for part 2 of my upgrade to a 3930K and X79 uh, Pro from Asus. It's a really cool upgrade, I'm really excited, and here are the benchmarks, and I'll talk about it once I've finished. So there we have it, the benchmarks are complete, and I'm pretty impressed. The Cinebench scores went up by a lot, that's about a 40% increase once overclocked, so I'm really impressed with that. It's only about 100 points behind the Ryzen 5 1600, and I'm overall really impressed with the system uh, now that it's been upgraded. The water cooler is the limitation in the OCs, I could have got that a lot higher. I might do an overclock on core number 3 because that was sitting in the low 70s while the rest are in the high high 70s and um, a few hit 80 but overall I'm pretty happy with the cooler it's definitely the best I could have gotten for the price that I did get it for and the RGB is definitely an added bonus the rendering times are amazing it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio of how long the video is now which is great that was my review on the HD 6770 that I did that render test on then the fire strike scores are awesome that's an amazing decrease in performance I didn't have stocks uh, results for that because I can't remember exactly why, but that's my start to finish. Uh, the 3770 can't overclock, so that's why all those were run at stock. And um, I'm overall really happy with this upgrade. Thank you everyone for watching. Uh, it's been quite a long process. Some other world works fine now, except the LAN port, the PCI Express adapter does all that. And I will mention that it was actually a bit of a disadvantage in the testing because for some reason, my my two sticks of RAM, they're different types. There's a HyperX Fury and a Corsair XMS3, and they really don't like talking to each other. The timings are different, the speeds are different. I can't get them to work in dual channel, and I don't have four sticks of quad channel. So this was actually only running with eight gigs of RAM in all these tests. Sadly, Windows 10 has decided that I have to activate Windows again, because that's how upgrading a system works with Windows 10. But yeah, the results are definitely uh, impressive considering the slight disadvantage in RAM, although the test I was running don't really get affected by uh, RAM. So otherwise, thank you everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you like this kind of stuff please like the video, please subscribe if you like uh, tech content and gaming, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you everyone for watching, and goodbye.